All right, hi there, Dean Hansen here again with yet another Kindle Fire tutorial. I never thought I was going to do so many tutorials, but I've found some things that have been cool. This is about getting the Opera web browser on your Kindle Fire so that you have a little bit faster web browser than Silk and you have more screen real estate in landscape mode than Silk. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So with the Silk browser... <clears throat> You have this bar, this bar here. You cannot get that to go away, no matter what you do. That'll take up a quarter inch of your screen real estate, no matter what. You also have this bar across the top that takes up a lot of real estate, so you end up not having a whole lot of screen real estate in the browser. Um, this does not require a root to fix. I'm going to tell you of getting Opera web browser. You just you can't get the web browser from the the market. You have to download it on your computer. So what I've done, and I'll provide a link in the description, is you go out to the internet, and let's see if this works okay. You can kind of see what's going on here. This will be the link you get. It's handango.com. You can just search Opera Web Browser, or you can just click on the link. Web Browser, don't click on the mini one. That'll be small, more for phones. Just do the free download on here for the Opera mobile web browser. In the options you can have it actually email the download to your email that way you can go straight to your Kindle Fire without even connecting your Kindle Fire to your computer. Check your email and download it straight to your Kindle Fire. It'll then download, that's how you can do it without because you can't get it on the Amazon market. So once you do download it, install it, just by clicking on it, it'll ask you to install. And then you have Opera. And you can turn it into your default web browser. But the best thing about it is, if you go into landscape mode, which is the way I like to surf so I can read, is you can see that the little bar here isn't always in its full huge state. Once you click, it shrinks. You see that? It's up or it shrinks just like when you're doing anything else on this device it gives you way more real estate plus opera web browsing is fast I mean it's just it's just fast you know my internet's not amazingly fast and it loads quick and it's pinch to zoom actually seems really good to me too especially once it's loaded it's kinda jittery for right now but it, it usually works pretty good and you can do all the same settings you would want if you want to make it so that the um, if you have your your flash set it on demand you can do that in in here as well that way it doesn't load all the flash and slow it down but you can still load it if you want it which you cannot do on the iPad too but it runs good and you have way more screen real estate but oh yeah oh, before you start getting mad at me in order to get that status bar to do that you have to go to the settings, so click this guy here, go to settings, and where you see it says status bar, turn it to off, and then it will do that. If status bar is on, then it will lock full like that, just like on your other web browser, on the Silk browser, it won't help you at all. But do status bar off, and all of a sudden you've got that extra quarter inch of screen real estate, and when you're talking about <laughs> 7 inches... An extra inch or so is a big difference. I like surfing the internet way better on the Opera web browser than the Silk. And it's fast. It really is. Pinch to zoom is just great. I love it. Okay, I think that's all I had to say. So that's how you get it. I'll provide a link. And have fun. Again, you don't have to root this or anything.